Hey guys, I'm Ken. I'm a professional PUBG Mobile player for Boomi Sport. I'm here with two co-founders of GameSpot. Hello. Hi. Hi Ken. Could you please introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, go ahead, Aaron. Uh, my name is Eran El Hanani. I'm a co-founder of Ballparks and Gamespad. Um, I've been in the space since 2013. Uh, been investing in crypto and IDOs, ICOs for a long time. Had my own boutique, this crypto VC fund. And um, additionally, I was in the real estate investments and traditional VC over the last 15 years. Uh, my name is Konstantin Kogan. I'm also a uh, co-founder of Bullperks and Gamespad. I've uh, been in Spain since, since 2012. Uh, I was trading uh, commodities and futures and then was a uh, uh, partner in the first uh, crypto fund of funds, uh, Bitbull Capital, and then was part of Digital Asset Management Group with Financial, which was $1.5 billion assets under management, seven different sub funds, and we had uh, invested in many you know, projects that sure you've heard of uh, in, in the industry um, and then uh, yeah was doing a lot of research articles and generally like fond of crypto um, crypto investing uh, on the side and then when we met with Iran we created uh, Boopers and then Gamespad and the rest is history wow great okay I want to ask you some questions about GameFi and also Gamespad itself okay let's start with question number one so question number one, what's the future of games in your opinion? Is it really on blockchain? You can start with Mr. Viran first. Okay. So we do believe obviously that the future of gaming is blockchain because it's distributed and people can participate from all over the world, join together. Um, we believe that we're just in the beginning and we're looking forward to a mass adoption. I mean, we can see that esports and online gaming is taking more and more, becoming more and more popular. So we definitely see it as the future, especially with models like the play to earn and move to earn and all these. Great. Do you have any opinion about it, Mr. Constantine? Yeah, not, not, not much to add. Listen, we, 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 it's still in the very early stages. The blockchain adoption is, uh, um, is still an unknown for a lot of gamers. And there's mm -hmm. 3 billion gamers in the world. So, I mean, once the 10% will uh, join actively and then it's going to be, you know, this milestones of 20% and then up and up, we're sure that it's inevitable, right? Play to earn provides you the as a as a model ability to monetize your presence. Not a lot of games actually allow that. Normally you spend your time inside the game and you get respect, right, from your community, but that's yes. that's you cannot monetize it directly unless you're pro player you're like yourself, <laughs> right? But how many successful pro players do you know? That's another question, right? So, yeah, that's true. So yeah. So we believe it will it will be much bigger than we have now. Great. So let's let's go to the second question. What is GameFi? What what are ways to make money in GameFi as a player and also as a game investor? Well, what is GameFi? Listen, the GameFi is a, is a sort of a fusion between uh, um, uh, game you know game industry and fi fintech, right? So. Uh, we're seeing the penetration of blockchain technology that allows, again, as I mentioned, uh, uh, gamers to have additional incentive, which is a monetary incentive, to be present inside the game. Uh, we haven't seen it before in such a massive scale where you you have an uh, you have an opportunity to obtain an asset in the form of token or NFT and actually trade it you know, on exchanges peer to peer and and immediately have an opportunity to monetize your presence, right? Uh, so this is this is big and we there's a lot of experiments happening. We believe that the gamify as a special as a separate niche of crypto uh, as a bigger, you know, scale industry, right, uh, is going to grow and it's still very early experiments right now. So how to monetize there are multiple ways. It it mm -hmm. depends every game obviously like, you know, can take classics like at the X Infinity, right? You know, so where uh, emerging markets and you know, like 
you know, developing countries that were playing there and they were actually earning more money. Let's say the average salary in Latin American countries was like three, four hundred dollars or South South Asia, and they were making more money playing a game than their regular day-to-day -day job, right? Um, so we're not going to go into details of how it was happening. I'm sure people, if you want their research, yeah, they can do that. But the opportunities are there, and uh, there are multiple ways how to, how to, again, as I mentioned, obtain an asset, mm -hmm. a tradable asset, just by playing a game. So invest in your time, and you get something in return in the form of a token or NFT. Okay. Iran can come in. Yes, and obviously, and obviously, as an investor, um, you know, if you think that there are projects going to be massive, you think that there's going to be the next big game, you can invest early stage through platforms like Gamespad and participate in the growth and acceleration of those projects and rip the reward. So if the project does well, the token price will be doing well. And you can, if you invested early, you can make quite a lot of money from your investment. Okay. Obviously, it might be also that it's not going to do well and then you might lose, but that's part of it. Yeah. investing it's part of so investing it's all about doing it you did your due diligence and betting on the right horses <laughs> okay great 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 okay we go to the next question okay for for myself i'm just gonna consider myself as a newbie because i'm not i'm not really into it it's my first time learning about game and nft and all this kind of stuff why is it worth investing in game pie game five projects today because it's still early so you're getting into a space pretty early that could explode and grow exponentially. So if you're early, that means that you can do very well long term. Okay, great. You have anything to add, Mr. Konstantin? No, I think uh, around brilliantly summarize it again. I would just add that uh, with anything that is early. The, the the opportunities are exponential, but it's fair to say that so does risk. You know, so so we you have to always due diligence. You have to always you know like make sure that you you know exactly what you're investing, right? Because um, let's be honest, in in, in traditional VC world, seventy to eighty percent of startups they you know they never succeed, right? Okay. So. Same, probably same would be fair to assume will happen to gamify experiments and different games who are just trying to find uh, different, like really interesting token mechanics, mm -hmm. but uh, only few will survive. Great. Okay. Let's now talk about GameSpot a bit. Okay. Tell us game, what is GameSpot is all about. <laughs> GameSpot is a, a you know gaming. Uh, NFT and metaverse ecosystem, right? So from the name, you can imagine that there is a, a clear, you know, relationship with the gamified world. Um, so we started off uh, uh, from uh, the like decentralized VC and a launchpad model, where, where we are investing in projects, we help to uh, provide access to thousands of people to real investors to the opportunities to invest in the public round uh, and um, so think about it as an investment club you know with different tiers okay. where tokens and nft are the keys to to be member of the club right you know so to be to, to have a certain tier and have a access to participate in those deals now uh, we have other products that we're developing in-house we have nft marketplace where we okay. are selecting projects and we will list our uh, NFTs, uh, our own, own NFTs and the projects we invest in, in as well. Uh, now we have NFT aggregator we're working on. We have uh, Metaverse as uh, we're building our own Metaverse soon. So that will be huge. And we're going to partner with uh, uh, big but multi-billion dollar traditional brands to bring them into the metaverse and to educate them why is it important to be present in this new Web3 uh, world. Um, and I'll let it run, you know, complete it. Oh, yeah. Was... Okay. I mean, we also have our own incubator where we, you know, incubate projects in the gamify NFT and metaverse aspects. 
We also building our own in-house gaming studio. We are actually in the process of finalizing acquisitions of gaming studio, metaverse studio, and production studio. And we're building some additional tools. But yeah, um, currently we have the launchpad, and we're building also the metaverse. It's interesting because uh, the more I listen, the more I understand about game fi, about games by itself, and and. For someone like me, who, 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 like like I said before, I'm just a newbie. I try to learn this stuff. Okay, how can I start investing in crypto games, NFTs, and metaphors with Gamespot? How can I start everything? So, so basically, as Constantine mentioned, our launchpad, Gamespot, basically there's two keys. You have the NFTs and you have the tokens. You need both in order to be, to qualify for a tier in order to invest and the higher the nft and the more tokens that you have the better allocations you will get to those projects so think about like a members club you need like a certain tier in order to invest and the higher the tier is the better opportunities you get we provide access to we, we are actually serving to the retail uh, uh, customers as a filter to identify the best opportunities because we're looking at it through the lens of our experience in traditional VC and crypto VC world, you know, uh, conducting a more thorough due diligence. And again, hopefully, you know, like that, that minimizes the, the, the job for certain selective projects because you, you uh, I think it's important to understand that we receive hundred, like 50 to hundred applications per week, right? Wow. But if we only actually list probably like one or two projects so there's a lot of research and filtering happening in between and therefore our audience are getting like you know cream of the crop you know so to speak of, of the product or at least we hope so We're, we cannot always be right also we implore people to do their own research you know so but we try to do our best yes okay great great okay the last question what are your plans for the near future? We can start with Mr. Aaron, probably. Okay, so currently we're focused on the metaverse aspect. Um, we're building the metaverse, the characters, we're building the assets. Um, we're, fo we're, gonna, we're building the land maps. We will pr probably conduct a land sale in the next month or two for the project um, obviously we're building additional features we're sorting through new projects constantly for the launch pad um, obviously finalizing the acquisitions and building bigger and better you know studios with actual games from our own games in-house expanding our metaverse studio and um yeah building building yeah. building building more project increasing the community the awareness the marketing everything yeah and also in addition we incubate several projects and uh, we make sure that they reach the level you know of uh, readiness because um, there's a lot of important elements before you list the token uh, and during bear market, it allows you to actually restructure and to make sure you you adhere to the highest standards of the industry. Um, so yeah, I think about it as a as a mini IPO, right? You know, so it takes traditional teams, I don't know, in average five to ten years to actually IPO. Um, right now, you know, there are there are ways how to do it much faster, obviously, but in crypto world, it is happening sometimes too fast. So the projects are simply not ready. So our job also is to make sure that we prepare them for all the pitfalls or potential risks that they might face. Okay, great. This is very insightful and thank you for giving us understanding about GameFi and how we start investing with GameSpot. Thank you for your time and hope we can see each other again soon. Bye. Thank you. Pleasure, thank you. Thank you, thank Bye. you, Mr. Constantine. Thank you, Mr. Aaron.